So uh, what once was a rather simple project, just buying a washer and dryer to get some, some space so that I can put in a bigger desk, put up my second monitor, put in some equipment, uh, has turned into a full re remodeling project. We have tried to repair tile, we've tried to grind up the floor, but uh, you know, every single time we take a look at something, we're like, well, you know, it's only like a hundred bucks to sit there and do this work ourselves. Why don't we fix that or this, that, or the next thing? That's the tile, it's relocating the utilities, it's all that shit. But the most interesting and recent development we've decided to do is to redo the walls. Now, the reason I say this is interesting is because uh, the walls look like shit. And I chose red paint, and red paint shows that off. So uh, the reason that I say the walls look like shit is because they were done in kind of a shitty fashion. Uh, the guy who, who did drywall in here, he did it with tape at one time. I don't know when it was. It was way before we bought the house. Uh, and then it seemed that we had different walling material. At least I was pretty suspicious of it. Um, couldn't guarantee it. So one part of our room had wallpaper on it. You can see it up there in the corner. It had like three or four different layers of wallpaper. Uh, that's coming down. I just don't feel like dealing replacing that drywall. And it was drywall. You know, you can see right here, right? I have I clearly, clearly have some drywall in this room. But then I have about uh, a quarter, like three-eighths-ish, or half or three eighths of this room is uh, is something else, or at least you know it didn't really look that bad until such time we put the red paint in, and then it looked fucking shitty. So uh, to show you the difference between the walls, uh, I'm gonna come down here. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, so you can see that little bubble there. That's where part of the two walls meet. The other is up there in that corner. Now what you're seeing on this wall here is kind of the the wall supports, that's what you know. normal drywall would go into. And the little mini boards going up there with the goop oozing through is what's known as a, a last or lash or something like that. But that's for plaster. So back in the day before drywall, which was like 1950s, 1960s, you used to have to hire people to go paint plaster in. They do like three layers and a paper layer and then it would be not so bad. So this house is old enough that not everything in it is in fact updated modern or drywall. And these quarter walls are that. So I showed you the wall seam, but if you actually take a look, um, you can maybe, maybe make out on this whole video thing that there's like little indentations, right? That it's kind of, kind of uneven and flowy and bubbly and, and, and that kind of stuff. And that, uh, that to me, before I even started taking stuff apart, before I knew there was last behind the walls, signaled to me that I suspect that there is plaster here. Now the reason it matters in identifying plaster walls is uh, that you gotta, you gotta make sure you're safe, you gotta make sure you know your hazards, and asbestos is a hazard for plaster walls, especially stuff that's previous to like 1980-ish. Um, you don't think it's going to be asbestos, but it could be. Everybody thinks of pipe insulation as asbestos, and asbestos is a great material. It mixed well with everything, added a little bit of fire retardation, was, was relatively cheap, it bonds. It's fantastic stuff as a, a building material. I, I thoroughly advocate its use, as long as you wear appropriate PPE to protect yourself when you're removing it or breaking it apart. So the reason I wanted to just present this is, if you see, you know, if you're trying to sit there and thinking about demoing your room, make sure that you check the wall type. If it looks bubbly, if it looks uneven, if it looks something like that, you may have plaster. And if you have plaster, you know, go hire an asbestos contractor if you're not comfortable with it, or, uh, or do it yourself. Um, just make sure you have a respirator and protect yourself. But I think it's kind of important to actually identify the two materials. Drywall is this kind of smooth, even, mass-produced, beautiful-looking sheet material, and plaster is the old-timey bullshit that looks like shit.